The Secret Service has directly responded to the president's lawyer concerning remarks he made about Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer. Jay Sekulow claimed the Secret Service would have vetted Trump Jr.'s meeting if it was considered nefarious. The president's son was not under the protection of the Secret Service back in June of 2016 when the meeting took place. For more on this, we're joined tonight the host of America's Lawyer, Mike Papantonio. Mike, great to have you with us. Um, okay, there's a meeting. Where's the crime? Where's the grand jury? Where is all this? Uh, I mean, CNN is hanging their hat and their careers on this that something is there. W w where's the legal there there? Yeah, well... Yeah, good luck with that, CNN. Look, there are plenty of legal arguments to be made on, on Trump Jr.'s behalf, and unfortunately for him, his lawyers don't seem to be making any of them. You know, Democrats want to think that this revelation was the smoking gun. CNN's, it's, it's their smoking gun that's going to bring down the end of the Trump administration. But this case is not as clear-cut as some people would well, like. Well, they've been it. running the same graphic for four days. Just I like mean, <laughs> it just... Their, their graphics guy must have gone on vacation well, or something. And, but they're, and, you know, I, it, I mean, it's very it, it's clear, Mike. Be... Mike, it's very clear. It seems like CNN especially is trying to weigh public opinion against the president. But where's the, where's the legality of all of this? Where, where's the legal net here? Okay, for, first of all, yeah, first of all, they're losing on, on, on their effort. But in particular, this case, just like in any criminal prosecution, there are countless different sets of criteria that have to be met in order to reach a conclusion that anything was wrong here. For example, was the lawyer working on behalf of the Russian government or was she just a citizen who wanted to help the Trump campaign? Was Donald Trump aware of her role within the government if one existed? And did he knowingly and intentionally seek information from a foreign national to aid his father? campaign. Those are just a few of the many different questions that have to all be answered yes in order to even begin to build a case. If any one of those questions, Ed, is a no, then the case begins to fall apart quickly. But, but here again, it's just like we saw, we've seen so many times. It's almost like CNN and MSNBC don't have any lawyers on their staff advising them about the importance of intent. Even if you can prove that the answers to all those questions, for example, are yes, Trump Jr.'s intent to get information from a foreign national to aid his father cam father's campaign, you still have to run into the question of whether or not this is even something yeah. that, could, that could be prosecuted. Right now, probably not. So th it's just media speak. And it's always one, it's another situation of CNN not actually talking to lawyers who might handle this for a living. The lawyers representing Trump, by the way, have been paid almost $700,000, and they are talking media speak. Yeah. They're not talking about true legal aspects of why this is probably won't be a case. It could be if there's more information than what we're seeing now.